What is going on guys? My name is Bucky and welcome to your very first tutorial in Nmap. Now Nmap is a tool that you can use to scan a network or a device. And if you guys are like, uh, when the heck would I ever want to do that? This tool sounds useless. Well, I'll give you guys a quick uh, set of examples. So let's say that you just set up your Wi-Fi for your house and you have a feeling that your annoying neighbor keeps connecting and using all your data. Well, what you could actually do is you can use this tool to scan your entire home network and it can show you every device that's connected and give you a little information about it as well. So, like I said, it can scan an entire home network in that example. And what you can also do, and people use it for this more often, is to scan servers or routers or actual devices. So, if you guys are like, why would I want to scan a server? Well, whenever you, let's say, have a website set up, you can scan your server and it'll tell you all of the ports that are open, all of the services that are running. And that way, once you see what's open and available, um, like maybe you have FTP available or MySQL database running on it and you don't want to have it running because it's a vulnerability, well, it can pretty much show you that it's open and you can analyze your server security a little bit better. So it's a lot more interesting if we just kind of hop, in, hop into it and, you know, look at some examples. So that's what we're going to be doing. But first, you know, you guys probably need to know how to install it. So if you're on a Debian or an Ubuntu Linux system, then what you can do is you can use sudo apt-git install nmap. Now, I'm on Kali right now. That's what distribution. So I already have it installed. And by the way, I should probably mention this. Before you watch these tutorials, you should have a basic understanding of both Linux and, you know, some basic networking. So if you don't, hop over and watch my Linux and networking tutorials and then back in here and you're going to be good to go. Now, like I said, you can also install it on Mac and Windows, but I'm kind of anti-Windows since Windows 10 came out. So I'm going to stick with uh, Linux in this tutorial series. I recommend that you do too. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. And by the way, I know I give you guys like a million disclaimers before I even start. You just can't use this tool on any server. So you just can't find some website online and you're like, oh, I wonder if, uh, you know, I wonder what services are running on my bank's server. That's actually illegal. You need to have access or permission to scan your own network or a website that you own or have written access to. So again, just don't scan any website on the internet. It's illegal. So in these tutorials, I'll just be scanning my own website and my own network. But let's say you get hired for a job. Make sure that you have written permission and boom or else you'll be good. So easy peasy. Let's just go ahead and scan my server. So let me delete that. And if you just write nmap, the new boston.com, what this is going to do is it's going to go hit up the DNS server and it's going to translate this into the IP address for us. So just hit enter and there you go. So this is the easiest way to scan a single website target. And what's going on behind the scenes is it's actually sending the new boston.com my website server packets and it's going to look at those responses and analyze them and this is what it came back with so on my server right now on my website i have three ports open 22 80 and 43 so those are all open and this right here under the service column this pretty much tells you the services that are commonly associated with the ports now, if you guys know a little bit about networking, you know that you can actually change these, but it says, okay, port 22 is open. That usually means that they have SSH available, and these, of course, are just regular you know, HTTP protocols, HTTP secure, and, of course, I have these open because I'm hosting a website on it. But there you go, and it also gives you the IP address, which is really cool. And if I copy that, I'll show you guys something else. So you can just use the domain name, the newboston.com, and you can also do the exact same thing with the IP address. It doesn't matter. There you go. You get the exact same results either way. So before we continue, I actually want to talk to you about these different states. So right now, all of these just say open, but they're not always going to say open. You're going to see keywords like closed, filtered, unfiltered. So I'll explain what those mean right now. Whenever you see that a port is open, it means that it's active and it's open to connections. So easy enough. What about closed? What about whenever we see that? 
Well, close means that, you know how I said that what we're doing is we're sending it a probe or a packet and analyzing the response? Well, whenever it says close, it responds to that probe, but most likely it doesn't have any services running. So that's what close means, that it's responding but no services are running. Filtered, whenever you see that keyword, it usually means that this port is protected by a firewall. And unfiltered, you really don't see this too often, but you may. It means that Nmap can't determine whether it's open or closed. So if you guys are like, why can't it determine? Well, this tool, it isn't like going to some API and be like, hey, give me all your information. And, you know, there's no like built in way for the server just to be like, okay, here are all the ports I have open. So it has to kind of like get around it. And that's, you know, kind of the cool thing about this tool. It crafts every single packet for every single port in a unique way and analyzes the responses one by one. And of course, every server is set up a little bit differently. So if it ever gets confused, then there you go. So let me clear out of here. And well, I guess that's all you guys get for this tutorial. I will see you guys in the next video.